Let me tell you a story. Once, there lived a queen of peerless beauty and compassion. She loved her people. And they, in turn, loved her. But one day, a change came over the queen. In the blink of an eye, her love turned to hate, her compassion to cruelty. Fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the island's bottom spilled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne! I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. I await you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Don't mind me. Not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadow Blood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. Tired is all. Too many competitions lately. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel in the Gold Saucer from a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. I've never 